This man is Dennis O'Brien, known to his pals as Dinny. He's very important to our story. You'll find out why soon enough. Here of Hunter Street, it's an original work written by Maya Ardell and it tells the story of the December 11th, 1916 fire and explosion at the Quaker Oats factory in Peterborough that ultimately killed 24 men. It's still considered one of the largest, most tragic industrial accidents in Canadian history. So the play looks at the city of Peterborough in 1916 and then it focuses very specifically on one family, the O'Brien family. And that's actually based on a, an actual family who lost their father and grandfather, Dennis O'Brien and William Hogan, in the fire. And one of our volunteer actresses, who's a longtime volunteer with us, Lorna Green, it was her grandfather and great-grandfather who were Dennis O'Brien and William Hogan. And we had been wanting to work with Maya Ardell as a playwright for a long time. And so we paired her and Lorna up, and they hit it off right away. She was able to really capture the heart of a family facing such tragedy and the heart of the city and also how it uh, the family and the city breathe and rebuild and move on because the living have to keep living. So Jim sails to the island to find the treasure and bring it all home to his ma. I'd bring treasure home for you, ma. I know you would, my darling. You can't just write a terrible disaster. So what I had to do is find out what, where the spirit of the community was, where the um, heartbeat of the community was. And uh, with the help of Lorna Green, she helped me sort of learn a bit about her family. So I put her family, the O'Brien family, right in the middle of this story. So it actually became a family story with a terrible catastrophe that happens to this family and happens to the community. The first part is, you know, this community all looking forward to Christmas and everything. Second part is the disaster and how they all pull together and try to deal with the grief and the, you know, sorrow. And the third part is how do they survive? How do they survive this? How does Peterborough overcome this terrible tragedy? And in the end, how do they keep the Quaker Oats factory from going anywhere else? So there was all sorts of lovely stuff that I learned about the real story that I could put in the play. Your head's stuck in your books like the real world doesn't matter. What's this one about? Pirates. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Sounds fantastical. Oh no, Ma. This one could really happen. Well, we're trying to tell the story of a community and how it was affected by this. I think it's nice being able to explain this to people and show them how it all happened and how it affected everyone. Every detail in this is true, down to a Jewish Christmas tree seller that happened to be in town at that time we have in the play. It's the research that they all did is insane, and so I learned a lot from it. I didn't know that much about it before entering into this, and we, we had workshopped this play a few years ago, and that was the first I really started to learn about the Quaker Oats fire. It's really neat to get to know the, the history of this region and to be able to tell stories that are about real people and about different eras and um, get to know this area a little bit more. All the way from the great metropolis of Toronto, Mr. Ajax the Strongman! Fanfare. The first preview is on the 28th of June and it opens on July the 2nd and it closes on July 23rd. We generally run Tuesdays through Saturdays, except we add an extra Monday performance on July 18th. And tickets are going fast. Right. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum.